AI tools are evolving and their use in academia is getting popular day by day. But before learning that, how you have to use these tools and before setting up your mindset that you should have to learn and you should have to adopt the use of these AI tools, this is very crucial for you to learn the facts that what kind of expectations you should have from these tools and you should know that how these tools are going to benefit you. To address this topic is very necessary because there are two extreme misconceptions regarding these tools exist in the academic world. First kind of people think that you just have give a prompt to these AI tools to uh, come up with the whole idea of any kind of a research paper and write authentic and genuine research research paper for them and they get a complete professionally written publishable research paper from these AI tools on a single click. And the second type of extremist think that these tools are just bullshit. They are going to put any kind of uh, uh, learning or creativity block on the mind of researchers. These two concepts or these two myths are not true or not actionable, we have to think moderately and we should know the list of do's and don'ts that what we should expect from these tools and what we should not expect from these AI tools while writing any kind of academic document. First, we will talk about some important do's which these AI tools can do for you. As I talk, these AI tools cannot write a complete research document for you on a single click. For example, if you want to write a research paper, a essay, a research report or assignment or a research thesis, these tools are not going to give you a complete document on a single click. Yes, you can develop a complete outline of your research document with the help of these AI tools and among them Jenny AI and Paperpal are the prominent tools which are going to help you to build the outline of any kind of a research document on a single click. Even you can take the help of ChatGPT but I will again suggest to go to the specific tools which have been designed for the researchers by keeping in mind the needs of academia. You, you can write with the help of these AI tools but in parts and pieces, in fractions, you can ask for any kind of information. For that purpose, again, you can use Gen AI or even you can use Site, which not only provide you the content, but with the list of references and even you can download that list and can use later on for your reference management. You can find the resources, which is challenging part for our new researchers to find the related data according to your research queries. And these AI tools are going to provide you the data and they are also going to help you to build a connection between the literature and for that purpose light map, connected paper or research rabbit are going to play a very vital role because when you select any of your key research paper these tools are going to find all the literature regarding that specific research paper or research problem and will give you a map of research papers that what kind of work have been done in which years and you can select the seed or select the thread of your choice. Even you can use our discovery for that purpose. This tool is not only going to help you to give you the list of literature but also its mobile app keep you updated by notifying you with the latest publication in that specific field of research. You can check the sporting citation and contrasted citation in a single document about any argument you are going to prove in that specific research document and Cite AI is going to help you in this regard. In the same way, with the help of a research rabbit, connected paper, light map, you will be able to find, the, to identify the prominent research group which are working in that specific 
field of research and you can connect with them you can make a list of them and you can stay updated their work and in this way you will know the prominent research groups which are working in your specific area and you will find them with the help of these AI tools on a single click you can chat with your research papers with the help of different Chrome extensions you can even generate citations you can evaluate any kind of a research document paper you can chat with the group of research papers to find out the information according to your requirement by using these AI tools. So studying the research paper, evaluating the information and bringing that information on one interface is very easy with the help of these AI tools. You can write some kind of information with the help of these AI tools but again in the in, in the parts and pieces these AI tools are not going to help you to write your research document on a single click. The first don't is the same that these tools are not going to help you to write your complete document on a single click very major limitation which these AI tools have is that they are not going to provide you the, the unexpected results for example if you ask them to give you the uh, hypothesis or the outcomes of this kind of a research problem then this these tools are built on the predictable model they cannot come up with the unpredictable research results which is the key of any any research project whenever you are working on any kind of a research project the possibilities of unpredictable research results are as equal as the predictable research results so your research results your research outcomes should be genuine should look real and for that purpose these AI tools cannot going to help you they will suggest you only what can happen they cannot come up with the ideas with the information that what cannot happen in your research when you ask these AI tools and specifically chat GPT for any kind of information there is very much chances of misinformation from these AI tools that ChatGPT claims that the information may be wrong and there are a lot of cases available in which ChatGPT misinformed the user alarming results. So you cannot rely specifically on ChatGPT or any source which is not going to provide you information with the related source link. So the information these tools to provide you is not always correct. You have to put your personal check on the information and you always have to cross check what these tools have provided you. These tools are not thinking tools, they are just going to help you as an assistant. For example, you have to write a 10 research paper, you can take help of these AI tools to find those research paper and evaluate those research paper and give you some key information from those research paper. After having the information from those 10 research paper, now this is your job to evaluate that information, to use your power of mind and to link these pieces of information and to come up with the new piece of information or how you have to link it with your research problem or your research question or in your research document. So these tools help you to do a labor work but not a thinking and thought provoking tasks these tools cannot act like a supervisor for you they can act like assistance for you you cannot ask them for guidance you have to ask them for assistance whenever you depend on them and you ask them any kind of a question for example what are the future goals or what are the future prospects of this study these tools will give you some prospect being a researcher being a person with a critical thinking you cannot rely on these results you have to check with the with the previous data and you have to check with the uh, future research section with the previous work in that specific research topic so before using these AI, you should not mess up between the do and don'ts and you should to be clear that how you have to use these tools and you should know the type of the tools which are going to help you to solve a different kind of problem in your academic writing or in your research process. There are 50 plus videos available in my AI and research tool in which I have give a deep overview of all the potential AI tools which are being used in academia. You can watch that and if if you have any queries you can ask them with me or want to take our academic editing and proofreading services you can visit us at www.scientificpakistan.com if you find this video useful don't forget to share it with others and don't forget to leave your feedback in the comment section we'll see you in another video till then take care of yourself bye bye